All right, good morning. It's 11 o'clock. We've got a four-hour candle closed, <clears throat> so let's get to it. Uh, we're going to start on the pound today. Uh, so I moved my stop to break even this morning at like 4 o'clock in the morning. That was on the hourly chart. It hit, let's see, one, two, three times on this candle it waked in there. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna move my stop and then it took me out this morning. So that's why this is a break even on there. Uh, these other trades are still up until otherwise stated, I guess. Uh, if you didn't move your stop, you're definitely still in it and up a little bit, which is nice. It came within like, just to close this one. So I did. Like three points of four points of the target, which is super annoying. Uh, whatever it happens. So that's the pound. Let's get it on with the euro. Looks like we finally have a break above. So now we can go in and look for some demand areas. So Alright, so in order to get your ruler tool up, you can either go over to the left here and click on the ruler, or you can hold shift and then click. It's not click and hold, it's just click, let go, and then that's how you can get your ruler tool up. So it'll show you everything. I think I forgot to mention that in the other video. So this one went almost half way in, so I'm not going to take this zone, but I am I think going to take this one. But I'm going to use this one's profit target whenever it forms. So, <laughs> I'm for the profit margin to get it comes back too far, and then I got to cancel it. That's like an annoying thing. We just got to set up trades and then cancel them all the time. I already look at the pound. So like hopefully we can get something above the Aussie here. Looks like it might be like this. This might be the trade. Maybe we'll see. We'll see what happens with the Aussie. New Zealand dollar looks like it wants to turn. It's in the daily demand now for like we count all these wicks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times, depending on how you count, otherwise it's one, two times. Dark head. Finally got our break. Close below. That. That'll be our level and our stop, and then same thing. We just gotta wait for the profit margin. It's too early right now for me to tell. I actually put above this button. It's like almost two to one move, but we need two to one profit margin. So I'm just gonna wait. My video tonight, tonight might not come out because uh, we're going to be in the city doing city slicker stuff with our friends. Also, tomorrow's videos may or may not come out too because of the same reason. We're still going to be down there. Here we go now. Break below there. I mean, not there, there, but like there. And it close below there, then we can start taking this bad boy short. 
pound yen. So this is another one actually that kind of pissed me off. Look at that. Look at that. One point. One point two points. And it would have it. That's annoying. That's really annoying. But whatever. You gotta play your cards. So red there, and we get a green box. So this might still be a valid trade because if it breaks now above here, it becomes a standard range. Yeah, standard range long. So I'm gonna put no entry, leave a note, uh, or fresh. Break out. So. Extra reminder. Again, finding a breakout area right there. We can start hopefully trading. It's a pretty slow week this week so far. It's Wednesday, I think. Yeah, it's Wednesday. Just hasn't been a whole ton of opportunity. We do have the breakout to the downside, but we don't have the close below, so we can't take that. Still looking for this to break out though. So the So this would be an example of if it closes above here, then it has to be 50%, it has to be below the breakout and 50% um, or less of the entire move from bottom to top. So if that happens, I'll go in depth on what that looks like. Your CAD, these are all canceled because we came high on the curve there. Again for a second. All right. <clears throat> so there we go. Okay, apparently, I Trades pretty quick here, huh? Alright, so now we're looking for the breakdown of this. As of now, it's right there, but if it does, it probably will come back low on the curve before it gets any higher. So, there you go.
All right, so this is now counter trend, so that's uh, no longer takeable. So we'll just go ahead and delete all that. So now we're just looking for the fresh breakout. This is kind of the same thing as the other one where it's the range breakout trade. It's got a breakout of this and then be above the breakout and then 50% or higher in this case of the uh, entire like box. <clears throat> just going to wait on that. Wait for this one to turn around. See if we would have set this up, it wouldn't work. That's why we wait on these arrivals and things, but that's okay. We still have that. So let's go ahead. I mean, this one, the top one, we can still wait on the arrival for it um, because if it breaks out above here, then we can have the range breakout trade, in which case I'll still. Wait for the arrival because that's a long ways to come back down. So we'll get to that one eventually, maybe. Yeah, it's okay, I just need to keep pushing a little lower here. Go. Got a breakout area looking to clear that. Actually, like this wick right here, that's the highest wick. But it's not that much of a difference, so you can just put it right there. I just put it right there, so it looks nicer to me. So that's it. Basically, we what we do? We canceled a bunch of trades. We got a couple still chilling. I think. Yeah, we just have the pound trades chilling right now. We put some of these other ones on hold. <sighs> Honestly, if you were like, I could get back into this, and I wouldn't feel any pain about it. To be honest, might do it because we don't have a down move and then like a counter trend opportunity here. It's just, it would still be, it has to make the down box. So, you know, did poke through the zone there. That is why we have our stop loss right there. So, well, thinking about getting back into it, but I also like played out my plan. So I'm like, ah, maybe not. So we'll see if it, uh, we'll see if it works. If it works great. If not, we have our backup entries a little higher on the time frame for our range trade. So that's all for today. Um, maybe we'll see you tonight. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow. I don't know. For the rest of the week, if you're on YouTube, hit subscribe. Do the bell thing. Leave me a comment. If you have any questions, definitely uh, just let me know. If you're watching this on Facebook, just PM yeah, me. So, uh, yeah, that's it. The bell button, though, will let you get these videos as soon as they come out. It can be really convenient. So... Uh, yeah, have a great day, and I'll uh, see you guys later. If not this week, then definitely next week.